fitness and working out, a few people think that few. Think of the two things that can make or break you. I'm talking about your feet. Yes, they can make or break how well your fitness regimen goes, and they can play a big role in your success during your workouts. Stephanie Hansen from Energy Fitness is here to explain this, along with her chiropractor from Energy Fitness, Dr. Brian Mann. Welcome, and we've got some paint, and y'all are barefoot. This does not look like a workout class. This looks like arts and crafts. What are you gonna do with this paint? We are gonna find out where you put all your pressure in your body. Like, so your feet are the foundation of your body. So every impact you make, every move you make, your foot placement plays a huge role because it determines on what happens in the rest of your body. So if, you, if you're running and your feet are not balanced, they're not in the right position, you're putting all that impact, all that shock, all the way up through your body. So if you have neck problems, shoulder problems, knees, back, can all be related from your foot. Okay. So all your nerve endings rest in your feet. They do. Yes. That's right. So and, and if you go and you and you got a pain here, somebody can rub your feet here and the pain will go away. And I'm sure <laughs> somebody right. can speak to that is Dr. Mann. Right. Tell us about how when we, you, you, we, we're going to have Susie walk through this paint and Chelsea walk through this paint. What are you going to be able to see based off of their footprints? Um, <laughs> she kind of touched on what I was going to talk about a little bit. So our hip is designed to be mobile. Knee's supposed to be stable, and the ankle and foot is supposed to be mobile. So what she was saying, a lot of people don't go initially to the feet and check that out. So I'm gonna, when someone comes to see me, I'm going to make sure the foot's mobile foot. first and then move my way up so she could potentially have knee pain from So you're going to be able to diagnose kind of where her, based off of these footprints, kind of maybe where... Um, Steph and I will check out her gait and kind of make sure the... Uh, foot placement. Well, is somebody home because I don't want to. Let's go, Susie. Right. So Susie's gonna step into. Oh, the, oh. it's very slippery though. <laughs> Hold Dude, what are you talking about? Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no I'm really serious. It's very slippery. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there, now step and outside. Step out. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe just dab the other foot. Maybe I should. Just dab the other foot. Or just walk with that one in the in the paint. There you go. There you uh, go. Yeah. There you go. That was a good uh oh. You got it, sis. There it is. There it is. There we go. Da 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 Okay, what can you tell us? Yeah, step over there, Susie. Based off of her footprints, what, is there anything you can initially kind of diagnose or see about Susie's feet? So I don't think that's how she would typically walk. The way <laughs> yeah, she it is. In there. But, um, she waddles a little she bit. She would slide yeah. a little bit. But the idea was kind of for us to kind of look at the paint, see where it's darker in some areas, where she's putting more pressure. Like maybe she would have more pressure um, in the heel strike. where we. I noticed work. that her second toe has more pressure. When, like, if you look at, like... Just on the right foot. Just on the right foot. See yeah. your second toe there, and your second toe there, and your second toe there. And that would be an area we'd look at is she could be compensating for some imbalances she has, some uh, immobility in the foot or ankle area, so we'd kind of check into that a little bit more. How, many, how much time would it take in years for me to correct that? Because I only have a couple of more to go. I wish, <laughs> uh, I wish everybody asked that. It's always a hard, it depends how you respond to it whenever we're working on you. Um, ideally, I personally, I like to see results within the first month or two. Okay. If we're not, then I'm like, hey, let's go see who else can figure this out and we'll kind of work to co-manage from there. Okay, let's have Chelsea. Why don't you, yeah. we have you come around? And another and thing that you can do too is look at your shoes. Look at the bottom of your shoes and see where they're wearing. If they're wearing a lot on the outsides, that means you're turning, at, you're putting a lot of pressure. You should not have pressure on your baby toe. Should always be on the big ball of your foot. I'm gonna try Can scraping off. Oh, see it what is I mean? Slippery. You're yeah, right. Right. Do not try this at home. Uh, Just do uh, it then uh, after uh, bingo. Have them take you to the cafeteria to do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Need to get a couple steps you can on. also tell if someone has a flat foot. Now, see, this is great. See how the, she's the, the yeah, but she's arch. doing that on purpose. No. I see her. I see her putting that weight down. On that so what you can tell from here is that her arch. Like she's got a high arch, and her arch isn't touching right there. So, Doctor Man, what does that tell us about which, maybe her back or her hips or yeah, which where pressure knew, could happen? Which we knew she had some high arches from her dance background. So um, there we would kind of go in to make sure that she's getting even pressure throughout the foot where we need it throughout her gait, whereas. Um, um, Susie's a little bit more all over the foot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's a difference <laughs> in like 60 years. <laughs> so, Stephanie, how well, crucial, cool. and I know one of the great things I love about Energy Fitness is that Dr. Mann is really accessible, and you and I have been working out before, and I've said, oh, this knee is doing something weird, or this hip is a little wobbly, and you immediately referenced me into his office, yes. stop my workout, go in there, and he comes and 
looks at it. Why do the two go hand in hand? Why is that so important to have a chiropractor on hand while people are working out? Well, because Dr. Mann's also more than a chiropractor. He does myofascial release, ART, and things like that. And so it's just important. Sometimes muscles aren't activating. They're dormant. And we're doing an exercise that requires that muscle to work. So he can go in and manually activate it, and then we can go on with our workout. I don't want you to continue to do it because it, it elevates the risk of injury. Right. Oh my so, gosh, I love it because I know he's <laughs> adjusted me before workouts and it makes a huge impact huge. on the way your body feels, not only yes. during the workout but after. Yes. What a great fun activity. And obviously if you want more information, you can get in touch with Stephanie and Dr. Mann by going to the Energy Fitness Facebook mm -hmm. page. They have loads of fun stuff on their YouTube videos. They're great. I really encourage you all to head over to Energy Fitness. Now who's going to carry me to the restroom so I can <laughs> wash my feet? Oh my <laughs> and me. <laughs> okay, well don't go anywhere because Susie's going to wash off her feet or maybe she won't. But then she's going to give you a dose of that good advice. Susie says so is coming up when the broadcast returns. <laughs> oh, look at those things.